Today, you will leave your nest, and you will soar with me towards the heavens, as we learn about one of God's most sacred creatures, that is of course, the potu bird. There are seven different species of potu, which are found in Mexico, Central and South America, and the Caribbean. They're cousins of night jars, which includes night hawks and whippoorwills. But even though they have big eyes and nocturnal habits, they are not closely related to owls. Despite its terrifying vocalizations, potus are not aggressive. They live solitary lives. The great potu is not only nocturnal, but it has eyes so large that they take up most of its skull. With remarkable night vision and abnormal eyelids, this deadly little creature can sense incoming predators even while asleep. Potus are insectivorous, meaning they feed mainly on insects. They're nocturnal and related to night jars and frog mouths. They can be found in every single Central and South American country outside of Chile and on the Caribbean islands. They have the greatest diversity in the Amazon, where five of the seven species can be found. Originally thought of as a demon of the skies, hence the nickname Ghost Bird, it's now known to just be a birdie. Legend has it that if you go into your bathroom, turn off the light and say Potu Bird three times in the mirror, a Potu Bird will fly directly out of your arsehole and steal your car keys. Because of where they're indigenous to, it's highly likely that a potu bird has seen Ricky Martin, Shakira, J-Lo, or Jose Cuervo in person. Although it's worth noting, they've probably never seen Larry Bird, Queen Latifah, or Joe Rogan. God originally gave the Potu bird the task that storks have now. They were terrific as baby deliverers until they were replaced due to the horrifying shrieks they would let out upon delivery. These shrieks were so extreme that many of the babies exploded, which was of course problematic. This led to the difficult decision, but ultimately necessary decision, to switch to storks. Not once has a baby exploded because of a stork. Although they're not known to be particularly aggressive creatures, this potu bird was arrested for cocaine possession and resisting arrest. As far as we know, a potu bird is not responsible for any hate crimes. The potu bird was first discovered by Columbo Columbus in 1669 while on an expedition for King Philip IV of Spain. When he got too drunk, he fell off his boat, landing on a potu bird off the coast of Mexico. The smallest potu bird weighs roughly 50 grams, which is actually a lot of cocaine. The largest can weigh more than 23 ounces, which is way more cocaine. A family of potu birds once saved my nephew Marco from certain death after he was treed by a mob of angry sewer rats. Despite their impressive vocal range, potu birds are not known to frequent karaoke bars. 
They're simply too shy. Thank you for joining me on this flight through life where we learned about the Pow Two Bird. I'm John Deutsch, and remember, keep it girthy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click that bell. We upload new videos every single week. We're constantly keeping it girthy, and you should too. Girthy Hogs! A Girthy Hogs production. production.